Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here on the Corn School at the Canada's Outdoor Farm Show, joined by Peter Johnson. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Hey, anytime, Bern. Love it. Yep. Awesome. Hey, I want to talk about corn maturity. It's been a, a, a late year, a wet year. So many things have gone on. Now we're in September. We're getting cold nights. You know, we're, we're down on heat units. You know, I guess the big question everybody's asking, are we going to get there? Yep, and so that is absolutely the question, right, Bern? The biggest question here at the show is, is the corn going to make it? And what's really interesting is as you walk around at all the different uh, corn hybrid companies, they, they'll have short season corn mm -hmm. that they planted the 17th of May. We're at Woodstock, Ontario, typically 3,000 heat unit area. And so they'll have a 2,600 heat unit hybrid. It should be black layered, not black layered. And in fact, for the last two to three weeks, because of those really cold nights, yeah. the corn has almost done nothing. The sweet corn guys, yeah. Right? Once we start harvesting sweet corn, those guys don't stop. They don't stop because they got to keep the line going, right? Yep. So tell me, I, you keep talking about two numbers, 9 degrees Celsius nights and 4 degrees. Tell me about 9 degrees. Yeah, so 9 degrees, so, so really, wheat is a base zero crop, grows mm -hmm. any times over, over zero Celsius. Not really, it's two, but whatever. Corn is a base 10 crop. And so that says that when it goes below 10 degrees, the corn doesn't do very much. But you'd say, well, at night it can go below 10, and as long as it goes to 18 degrees or 20 degrees in the day, it's going. Well, in actual fact, it's like a cold shock on that yep. corn plant. So when it goes below 9 at night, the next day, there's almost no starch accumulation within that corn plant. So Ty's Tolinar did that work, and, cool. and you know it's really kind of cool stuff. You wouldn't think that, but you you essentially lose most of that next day at nine Celsius. What about four? Because we, so, we've seen some real cool nights. So you go, you know, two thousand. Go back to to 2013, and at Alora, at Arthur, we had three nights in a row where we we were pretty warm, and all of a sudden it went. Boom, we got three really cold nights, kind of two or three. The corn stopped. It absolutely stopped. Yep. It did not mature after that. It was like a cold shock. This year, when we go up there, we've had many nights below four. And, and so if you look at that research, when it goes below four, it's like that cold shock. And so then it actually takes two to three days before that corn plant starts to, to move that photosynthate into the cob. And so the sweet corn guys works the same for them. They've stopped. They, they did a week of harvest. They quit for a week because right. nothing was ready. They did three days of harvest. They shut down for another four days because nothing was ready. So, so those cold nights, we see it in the sweet corn. We see it in the field corn because it, it just hasn't moved. Talk about where the things are. You brought some corn cobs with you. Yeah. Tell me where we are. Yeah, so really interesting. So, you know, one, one of the things I will tell you, Bern, is I, I want a different stuff to bring, right? Right. Right. So I said, well, normally this time of year, we should be at least half milk line. I had to hunt all oh. over the place. You drove around for hours last night looking I, for corn. I, I actually spent about four hours trying to find, and I found it. I got it, mm -hmm. so we'll look at it. But, but normally that's where we'd be. So here's, here's a cob, and you know you can see quite clearly that there's still milk in that, yep. right? It just squirted the heck out of me. And so when you're at that milk stage, it's not no kernels dented whatsoever. That particular hybrid just picked it today, so that's... And it's September 12th today. It's September wow. 12th. This thing needs 35 days. Milk stage, you need 35 days. Now, if you're in a short season area and, and with the cool nights, corn will adapt. It really will. So maybe I only need 30 days, but to really do it right, I need 35 days to get that, that through, if, if not more. It depends on how far it is in the milk stage. And, you know what's really scary is I've had a couple guys who planted corn the 15th of June who have told me that that corn's just going yellow. It was actually, you know, blister stage. Now we're just getting into milk. That's 45, 45 days. days. And so that's really ugly. So this stuff needs a long time. Meanwhile, we move up to the next maturity. And so here's where we get to. You got some dent? Absolutely. Just the odd kernel is dented. So, so we would call this very early dent. Still some milk in the kernels that haven't dented, but it's just early dent. So when we get to this stage, you know, at this stage for sure 30 days will do it. That's kind of the game. And if the corn shortens up, maybe 25 days, but it's in that kind of 25 to 30-ish day range. And, and I mean, the other problem with this whole thought process is that every, every night it goes below nine, we're gonna lose that day, right? 
and and the corn will start translocating out of the the stalk so we'll still finish like eventually we'll still get to that point if it doesn't freeze but what's going to be left from those kernels right what's going to what's going to get into the kernels in terms of test weight almost for sure and even even if we get this this is glorious weather it's 25 celsius it's going to be over 10 yeah, tonight 10. we got a whole week of this weather right mm -hmm. and and we need it and everybody's saying this is great but think about that how many hours of sunshine do i get from the 13th of September or on the 13th of September versus if this was the 13th of August, yeah. I get way more yeah. hours of sunshine, I get way more photosynthate, I pack way more into that kernel. So the potential of having high test weight corn has really slipped. And it'll be high moisture corn as well because if you can hit 30, like mature corn, 30% corn on the 15th of September, then you can actually get to 20% moisture corn in about 15, 15 days, days pretty easily. If I hit that 30% moisture on the 15th of October, I don't ever see 20. Like it'll be Christmas before I'll see 20. I'm lucky if I get yeah. to 25. So where One should more. we be? Yep. Where, where should we be? We, this is where we should. And where be. did you have to go to find this? So I actually I, I drove up and down roads and I finally I drove past a, a, a field and it had a, a sign on it and I said, "Wow." That is a 2700 heat unit hybrid. Mm. So I stopped, I jumped out, and sure enough, when we break this open, half you can milk line. half milk line. You can really clearly see that we're at half milk line. This needs 12 to 15 days. So essentially, this isn't going to black layer, and it's the earliest stuff out there till almost the end of September. So, so we are absolutely late. Are we going to make it? You tell yeah. me what the weather's going to be, be and and if if you tell me that, then. Then I probably won't worry about black layer in the you, corn. I'm we're going to go get you, play the markets. We're going to get them a new job. Exactly. Go. We're going to play the markets. Thank you, Peter. Um, as I say, let's hope for some good weather. Let's finish this corn. Absolutely.